pair up nicely, I think we'll take on this station because we got a bunch of supplies from that. Literally, the only reason we came down is that we know there's a station here and there's another one two systems over. That's not too far away. Sanguinary Anarchists. You just fought the BLU XLU Union. I'm not 100% sure on who they are. Combat readiness is 52%. That should be fine. Deploy like that. And deploy everything else behind. Oof. Uh, right. Go like that. And I have a shepherd. Give it six LRMs just because. Oh, yeah, that's the way to do it. Um, crew salary at 10 cents a month, assuming that it's 30k a year is easy math. A credit is 250 US dollars. A oh, wolf is more than 3 million dollars. Well, it's a spaceship. It's a combat spaceship. It, it, it would want to be more than 3 million dollars, wouldn't it? Buy a car for more than a million. So you're looking at it a different way, Fuzzatron. The dollar would be worth so little to a spacefaring civilization at this point. A dollar is probably worth less than a credit. Taken that, that's fine. They don't have as many numbers on us this time, so if they want to circle us, that's okay. Any fleets are in space at any given moment. There's the Dreadnoughts. We've actually got a line, and these guys have cleared out this side. That's not too bad. And we're going to poke a hole here. These guys can push in on those two ships, and then we'll hit the side of the Dreadnought. Niagara's in front of them. Uh, oh, the casino went down. <laughs> Great. Oh, he's got one of those beams. God damn it. Yeah, that's like that's on par with the, um, the unsung. You remember the unsung from Neutrino? I really, really hope they update Neutrino someday. First thing is that is a long target.
There's a little bit of wreckage there and it's blocking half the miniguns. That makes me very sad. He has no way out now. You salvage one of these. They're very difficult to fit. Very difficult to fit. Would it be worth installing expanded magazines on this? Um, no. I think I think it's okay as it is. Again, it's a ship that we're probably going to get rid of in a little while because it's it's honestly it's too high tech for this run but it's my trophy ship at the moment I, I wouldn't pick that up as a trophy ship I could outfit it but it would be, it'd be all energy weapons and that's not what we're doing That went kind of cleanly. As any tech is too high tech. If it's not rusty, you know, in Rust we trust. Send in a couple of ships to take out the rest of them. Uh, we will recover the casino. Like there, we could pick that up, but no. And we're going to be short 50 crew. Do the salvage. Good thing is, all the support fleets are now gone. Honestly, that's still going to be a tougher battle. Um, orbiting battle station. They'd move that would be great that is a tough fight uh, we need to go in here and 50 crew right this is the problem they're standing down that's grand they're patrolling Five days left on repairs. Yep, yeah, return. Come on, return. Oh god, really? Spitting out fleets too often. No. Screw that, we're not we're not I can't take on that station and the four fleets. If you can't build it in a cave out of scrap, it's too high tech. You have to do anything more than throw it out the window. It's too high tech. Um, we know there's another one here. Um, I just don't want to take it on at the same time as those fleets. Uh, production, that's pretty much getting to be not worth it now. I took governorship of one of the pirate worlds. It had tech mining on it and in the... F oh god. Seriously? We did that fight. There you go. Get your baited. Yeah, you can maintain contact. Now we have to go find this thing again. It was in the outer ring. 
I think. Six hundred supplies. Gotta find this thing quick. Shame these stations don't stay marked. That would be really nice. There it is. Great thing is, this doesn't have four fleets around it. And we'll bring in the mining pikes. We'll bring in the long range arbalist. Let's see how we get on this time. So I love the piranhas, they might as well be throwing rocks out the window, but uh, they do such a good job. So yeah, he has a main weapon here, the Nidhogger Lance, which we're going to get rid of. You're being independent this run and Canana is like a paradise besides Gilead. This perfect gas chain and two beautiful tundra worlds. Only even more stuff worth colonizing. That's that's pretty good. Seek for now warriors the church. Okay, so I kind of want to hit that there. That module there has no armor in front of it, and kind of hoping the explosion will do damage. Because getting through that armor is going to take a while. Go and it knocked off that armor. Just using that debris to kind of shield against them with their fire. Being independent is a gr is a grind. Yeah, I can see it. Things are going well. Carriers down the back. I have double squalls in the front of this guy here to knock up the flux. And that allows the Niagara to kind of follow up.
actually knocking out those two middle sec segments there would be the way to go if you can. Okay, Casino, you're getting a little ballsy there. <laughs> Guys, 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 do not block the Niagara. Sweet. And why did we go up against that at all? Uh, grab you back again. Because of this. Oh, uh, yeah. That's why there's four fleets guarding the other one. Right, we've got the Beldum Battlecruiser high tech, so we won't be using that. Got a phase gone, of course. Uh, bonnet head. Phase cruiser. Ooh. The jerry can. Phase gone, yep. Yeah. Absolutely trash. Am I using the missing ships mod? Um, honestly, I can't remember <laughs> being that list. Yep, that's all we wanted. The plan originally was to pop back down here, take out that base, and then take out this base. But that one is just spitting out fleets. Uh, doop. Pursuing my fleet. <laughs> Then I could have the Ragnarok this run. What's the Ragnarok? Um, now we're under crew again by how many? About a hundred or so. The Ludwig Path ship. Ah, uh, there's there's plenty of other options. Uh, the Apatka 10 is what we're after. The seed ship converted into a super capital. Okay. Interesting. As long as I have my three Ni Niagara's, I'll be all right. One of the Niagara's is going to be all mortars. Just because. Uh, we'll grab all of them, put them back up to normal status. Grab the crew. Need a little bit more crew. Grab all that. Don't need that much crew, but the terrible thing about crew, you have to pay them. They're looking for a Kronos because I used to like them as a flagship, but I haven't flown one since their update buff. 
dodging missile volleys and chasing down frigates in a capital ship. It's funny. Um, yeah, we use the Volkov Industries. Check out their capital. Kind of nuts. Alright then. Ah, I disable that. Oh, that thing. Yeah, yeah. I've seen that before. Uh, they're all energy weapons. Get rid of them. And I think we're good there. I made a million. I guess it'll do. I guess it'll do. Which means we're going to upgrade you to a mega port. We're going to upgrade you to a mega port. And we're going to head up to Suffering. Like 250 million freedom bucks. Yeah, I work in euros. Uh, yeah, we'll get that upgrading. That is going to be gone soon, I think. I think by the time we actually get up there, we're going to get rid of that. Yeah, so we'll head to the Infernal Maw. Necromancer. Ah, oh, god damn it. Going on a salvage expedition. 220 million uh, heroes, yeah. Uh, that's gonna be nasty. Yeah, straight at us. Oh, that's gonna be really nasty, isn't it? Oh, that's two more. Uh, well, the Euros have always been strong. You have a lot of people trying to play it down, but it's... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. They attacked first. I find it funny, I will, you know, anytime I do actually watch the news and see all the reports on Brexit and shit, it's like, uh... The amount of lies that were told for Brexit is so funny. But anyway, won't get into any of that. You've made a mistake, Remnants, yes. Be a miscalculation on their part. I'm actually kind of hoping at the Infernal Maw they have another Niagara. Okay, good. At least these two guys are coming straight in at us. Not like last time. And do we even want to take that? And the double squalls did their job there. Yeah, there he is. And he's like badly damaged as well. Oh, okay, no. We do not need it that badly. Uh, 
And we're holding fire. Let's get a little speed boost. Screw you guys. Okay, he's coming around the side. You're diverting over there. You guys are getting pushed back in, so we're gonna have company here in a second. Like ramming maneuvers and ships with really strong shields. I started being good at this game when I realized I can out micro the AI, but I can create I can I can out but I can create chaos that it doesn't know how to react to. Yeah, exactly. All right, Zach, thanks for the raid, man. Have a good evening. Enjoy your D&D. &D. Generally, late in the game, when I'm happy with how my capitals are performing and everything, I'll just pop back into a frigate or something, and you'll see me back here. And it, it really helps. <laughs> All I want them is to turn towards me. I, I, I might not even engage them sometimes. How are we doing? You're gone in heavy again. Doing okay here. Oh, you're dead. Yeah, okay. You need to be up here. And I'm gonna head over that way now. Scarecrow is down. Clanker is down. The Nels. Wow, that went down quick. Wait, how did the Nelson go down so quick? Well, actually, no, he he did his phase jump and fired all the auto pulse lasers into him. That's exactly what happened. OK, now I need to get rid of that order because it's going to get the Niagara killed again. I want those thermal pulse cannons come out. I started an Infernal Machine game recently. Good oh god, that thing is expensive. Like 4 million and it's not finished. <laughs> oh yeah, picking picking up Remnant Cruisers is... They're, they're great ships. You mean this one? There is a non-remnant version of that. I can't remember what it's called. Like the Fulgent or something? Being taken out by lowly piranhas. I love it. Yeah, I think it's called the Fulgent. Uh, well, I could be very wrong on that. Right, 
Right, let's uh, get here. We're gonna we're low on crew, we're low on supplies. That's all good. We're not doing fantastic on money either, but hey. Constantly says there's a hostile fleet in here. Oh, is that a cabal fleet at the back? We're not, we're not gonna buy three and a half thousand supplies until we buy off the black market. Should be enough. Oh, I suppose being being friendly with them, can we? Good. Oh, look at that. Okay, that's good to know. I live by the by the fast cruiser meta. My fleets are all falcons, those things, vultures, eradicators, furies, elysiums, and frigates. Yeah, I, I don't go. I normally, I normally don't go too heavy into capitals either. I love like two or three, but then good cruisers are great. Gives you more versatility. Four hundred and seventy-three leaves us with a bunch. And let's get rid of all that. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. Cruise with nine burn because I gotta go fast. Yeah, I very much like to have a fast burning fleet. I suppose the Niagara is probably our slowest. Gulbasher, Niagara, and the Ceres. But I, I wouldn't switch them out, so. <laughs> uh, tsunami. Osiris Alliance. We have Combat Super Freighter. All different variants of the Atlas. I build an augmented field drive on things a lot. Yeah, yeah. Well, it all depends on your playstyle. Like we're at, oh, there's the Hast. Yeah, that's right. This is um, a blueprint we picked up. Cool. Um, but nothing we want to buy, and we need crew. Might as well get a bunch of crew. A bizarre heron prototype I found. 26 DP, but it has the Atlas ship system. Oh. It's like the Legio have excess of everything, which is great. It means we can buy stuff cheap. So we're repaired up. Oh yeah, that's the one with the Pies Navy. Against the pirates. There you go. Sacred Colonial Station. <laughs> One point eight million bounty. The impossibility is the uh, special remnant battle group fourteen. No, thank you, and Captain Kidman. In the pirate onslaught. I mean, 10 light years away, but it has. Hmm, that's nearly doable.
I think we could do that one. Yeah, might come back and do that one. Um, but at the moment, we are... Heading out. We need to go to Suffering. Is here. And install some cores. Oh nice, the torment has grown to five. Excellent. Supplies, food, okay. Come back here for a second. Piggy. Excellent, and they're running away, so this is all the simpler. Cheers. Thank you. Take all that. Get an extra 22k as well from the parts. Right then, we have two alpha cores, one of which is going in here. Gonna help a lot. Increases accessibility by 20%. Increases production by one. But that's, that's pretty much, that'll do. Yeah, we need to increase the accessibility. And... What could we build? Mm, we'll leave it running for a little bit. Looks like the max cores you can use without a rising suspicion. I have no idea. No idea. I never look into any of that kind of stuff too deeply, unfortunately. I'm playing the game about nine years and I, I never looked into those details. Can't even use one, I think. Yeah. You need the money, but you cannot defend your colony from a real threat. Yeah, they will show up later, but like if your colony is probably under size four, it's how big your colony is, how much of an impact you're having on the market, and all that kind of stuff. That all leads into it. Like, you know, we're 1% of the food market here of suffering. If you ever want to check, like, go in here, click on it, like, we're 2% of the, the market here however much you're going to impact to them. You can use throwaway cars, but the hedge will be salty if they find any yet. But we're pirates, so we don't care. Yeah, hazard pay is going to be a thing that we might do here because we need the growth. Like we do need the growth eventually there's only tens of thousands of people living here and we have minus six percent growth we 
like, yeah, we don't even have enough core in here. <laughs> Heavy industry is up and running. That's very good. But this is size five now, so that's also pretty damn good. Like this needs to be a free port to make any kind of money. But it's growing as well, so that's always good. And we can look at putting something else in here then. Not let them inspect your property if you can fight them off. Yep, true. They are genocidal maniacs, but aren't we all? My last run, the captain's name was Next Genocide. I think he lived up to the name. Uh, we're at max level. Kind of forgot about that. Could reset skills. I don't know if I want to. Yeah, I think we'll be good there. Certain woman. We're good. Directory. Yeah, with the, the pirates, you can like pay for governorship or seek governorship. Um, it's the end of the month, so let's see how it goes. Monthly expenses were 50k. Even though... Yeah, that's alright. Like, suffering isn't making the money yet, but it will. Character is an Imperium portrait, but isn't part of the Empire. So our colonies are probably bastions for religious or refugees. Oh yeah, fair enough. And Interstellar Imperium updated like three days after I started this run. I'm still very salty about that. Uh, Waystation. What's your demand? Oh yeah, yeah. Pop that in there. You don't have any demands, and you have one already. So yeah, once this gets going, it should be good. Growth is going to be an issue. Uh, we did die at the beginning. We got into a vicious cycle at the beginning of our first low-tech run with our guy named That's Mine. But this is That's Mine too. Uh, right, we need to go sell all this. Uh, that is why Reverie Fortress is here. Nice. Always nice to see a bit of action going on. Uh, we'll sell all of that. A little bit of money. Grab all that. Got the fuel, 94 for supplies. So I wouldn't bother buying supplies here. I'll just go back to Legio Space and get some. Uh, early on, we got a Diablo Weapons Blueprint and we sold it to the Pirates. So they're stocking up nicely on them. More miniguns. You have thermal pulse cannons. Give a thermal pulse turret. Very nice. Up you in there. The Imperials are idiots who worship AI cores, but they have cool ships. They do have cool ships. They are some of my favorite ships. Okay. The what's the range of this again? Nine hundred. Hey, <laughs> Mr. Creed, how are you?
Oh, not even a question. This is... I don't have any missiles I want to put there. The thumper on there. Okay, so you kind of want to be... Okay, yeah, you want to be broadside. The 1200 range, and then minigun on the back. 1250. Now, stick an Ibis on there? Sure. Max it, max it, improvised shield hardeners. Okay. Love the minigun? Yes. The minigun is fantastic. 14 of them are great too. Uh, do we want to go that low on this? Of course we do. Yes, really enjoying the minigun. Oh no, they're all in different groups. Why are they all in different groups? Although, actually... Let's split them up even more. Gives them the option to not fire one group. Which might help with flux in fights. So that, that's exactly kind of what I wanted. Um, the two of them kept firing, so that kept pressure on him. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't doesn't need to. <laughs> so if you imagine that, but with one here and one here. That'll be a lot of fun. Anyway, guys, I need to go. Uh, we have a family dinner in like an hour that I need to get ready for. Uh, appreciate people hanging out. Uh, thanks for hanging around after the raid. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you next time. Back on later with...